The truth is, we've all been there. Stuck in that rut, uh, replaying and replaying and replaying our mistakes over and over and over in our minds. Wondering what could have been if only we'd done things differently. But here is the thing. Yesterday is gone. And it is never, ever, ever coming back. Yet, so many of us allow it to dictate our current happiness. And it's the sad thing is, it's always going to hold us back from experiencing the fullest of life. We have been guilty of dwelling our past errors, replaying them in our minds like if it was some bad movie. We continue to beat ourselves over and over and over what we could have done differently. Before we know it, that negative self-talk can, you know, snowball into a cycle of anxiety, depression, and a whole lot of uh, stuckness, if that's a word. Eventually, we're going to start to believe that we're just not good enough, that uh, we're destined to repeat the same mistakes over and over. And the truth is, if we're not careful, that's exactly what is going to happen to you and me and to everybody. The problem is when we dwell on the past and we're not just uh, reliving our mistakes, we're also missing out on the present moment. We're missing out on all the opportunities to learn, to grow, to move forward. And that's exactly what I want to talk about today, how to shift our focus from the past regrets to the present possibilities. We all have to find a way to break free from the change of our past mistakes and start living in the here and now. I know that is much, 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 much easier said than done, but trust me, it is for sure possible. It takes a little bit of work, a little bit of patience. It takes a lot of effort, but in the end, I'm sure it will be worth it. Self-reflection is a great place to start. Take some time to really dig up deep and figure out what's holding you back in life. What are those negative thoughts that keep, you know, replaying in, in our mind? What are those fears that are stopping you from taking action? Uh, once you have a better understanding of what is going on in your mind, you can start from there to shift and start to focus. Positive affirmations is also a very powerful tool. I know they might, you know, sound a bit cheesy, but trust me, they work. Start repeating positive statements to yourself every day, like, you know, I am capable, I am strong, I am worthy. You know, it might feel silly at first, but the more you do it, it will train your brain and the more you will start to believe it. And once you start believing it, that's when the magic starts to happen and starts to come into place. And finally, set new goals for yourself. What do you want to achieve in life? What do you want to accomplish in life? Write it down if you have to, there's no shame in it. Make a plan and start taking action. What I personally find is always having a plan, a roadmap, always helps me uh, very effectively. The more you focus on the present, the less time you have to dwell on the past. Let me just brainstorm and think of an example right here on the spot. Let's say there is a woman, right, who had been through some really tough times. She's, you know, been in an abusive relationship. She's lost her job. And let's go to the extreme and say she even lost her home. And instead of giving up, she decided to take control of her life again. She started taking classes. Uh, she started setting goals. She started believing in herself. And then now let's fast forward a few years into the present. This individual is now a successful business owner. She's in a happy relationship. And now she's living the best of her life. The reason why I wanted to share this video topic to you today is that no matter what you, me, we've all been through, no matter what mistakes we've made, you've always have the power to choose in life. You can either option A, choose to dwell on the past or option B, choose to focus in the current present. You can choose to let yesterday ruin your today or you can choose to turn today into potentially the best day ever. 
The power is in your hand. The ball is in your court. So remember, the past is just the past. Uh, it's time to let go. And I trust me, I understand it's easier said than done. I think, you know, it's okay if, if it needs to take time. You know, pain cannot be rushed or whatever you're going through. Time needs to do the healing. But eventually, you have to learn to just let go. And when that time is right, it start to live in right now, right here in the present. Don't let yesterday ruin today. Take control of your life again and take control of your mind and start living the life you have deserved for this very long time. Thank you so very much for spending the few minutes of your day to check out this video. I hope it was helpful. And as always, if you have a story to share, you're more than welcome to put it in the comment section below. And of course, if there's a certain subject matter you want to talk about in the next video, also leave it in the comment section below and I'm more happy to read and tackle on that subject in one of the next few videos. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your time. God bless you for that. I'm Adam representing Team SOS. In case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening, and most importantly, good night. Thanks for watching and I'm signing off. Peace.